I wasn't very zoomed in, but I got it. What? Yo, 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 what's going on, 1020? I hope you're all super well. It's game day. Favorite day of the week, I think, for pretty much all of us. If you don't love game day, then oh man, I think you're in the wrong sport. So, we're heading off. We got Claire coming along. How you going? Good. Papa good. Tweety's over there, mate. How you going? And we're also picking up Maddie pretty soon, so that's something to look forward to. Now, don't forget if you guys follow at Steps Apparel on Instagram, you will go in the running to win one player tech device which I will be wearing today and giving you guys some of the stats I hope. But that's enough of that. Let's get Maddie in the car. All right, we're stopping. Well, what's going on? I have no idea. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. How you going, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm sorry, I'm not moving around. Best friend? <laughs> Time no see. Hi, man. Hi, man. How are you? Good, good, good. good. How you going, mate? I'm good, man. Good How to see you. Ya. You too, pal. You too. In the car, we got Maddie, where Claire and Dad up front. How's everybody going? Papa, Great. Good. Papa Tweety good. nearly gave me whiplash. No? Okay. Whiplash? Nearly did. He did yeah. break a bit heavier, man. Yeah, he definitely did. Second last game of the season. Yep. How you feeling? Uh, <laughs> that's a difficult question. I can't wait to play. I'm excited. <laughs> Look, nah, to be honest, I, I love playing football. It yeah. don't matter what the situation is, I love playing football. And if, if anyone said, come on, let's go and kick a ball around, I'd be like, yeah, all right, let's go. So, a game of football is a game of football. I'm Always good. excited to play. I remember one time I was in England, and these guys will remember the story if they watched that vlog. Basically, I hadn't played a game in so long. A team called East Grinstead. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah, East Grinstead Reserves. We're like, oh yeah, we're playing this game. Do you want to come down and play? I was like, yeah, no worries. So I went down with a f like maybe a few hours notice, got there, and the coach had to play, the assistant coach had to play. It was bad, man. And then Jay also came down and played on like maybe 45 minutes notice. Wow. And yeah, but he lives in Crawley, so that's not... Yeah, it wasn't yeah, too bad, but it's just like when you get a game, man, like we were so pumped and he just bolted down, got the first train he could. Like, when you get a chance to play, no matter what it is, play, yeah. yeah. I missed um, a couple of seasons ago, we drew East Grinstead in the FA Cup. Oh, yeah. And we was 1 0 down, and we got a penalty in the 93rd minute, and I missed it. Oh. We lost 1 0, yeah. Oh, oh no, at yeah. East Grinstead's ground? At East Grinstead's ground. I played yeah. there, mate. Bad days, wow. man, yeah. But I think that's the. <laughs> But I've, I know that's the only senior penalty I've ever missed. Jeez. Yeah, it was in a paper, like a double spread as well. I was like, thank you very oh, much. Oh no. Keeper, yeah, the picture of the keeper saving it was like a double spread in the paper. I was like, who's done that? Oh wow. All right, well, we're off to the game. We'll catch you there. Here we are. Here we are. Here we go again. Back to the same ground where we had the loss, but we're going to turn it around today. Oh, that was a bit of a aggression. Anyway. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, so last time <laughs> that was our change room. This time we got the home change room. This place is huge. Sup. Holy moly. Oh, tactics on the wall. Rate it. Please be aware of the channel ball to four. Decent stuff. Soshi. Hello. How are you going? Eh? How are you going? Uh. <laughs> People want to know why are you playing in Australia? Hopefully. Why? Why are Why? you in Australia? Why? Uh, so I, I, I can because I can get money. Sucker. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> Alright, so there you go. That's just <laughs> Here we are at Bankstown on a Saturday night. It's a bit sad, really, or maybe it's a bit sad. This could be Sheldon's last game of the season, or maybe that'll be next week. Whatever, we're pretty close to the end of the season. And I've been doing this for 17 years, watching Sheldon play football, and I've been videoing the games for a long time. And it's always been sad at the end of the season. I love it so much. I've always been passionate about watching him play the beautiful game. And when the season would come to an end, I'd be lost with nothing to do on the weekend. And this will be the second time where I think that the season's 
ending and he's about to go overseas which is even more difficult you wonder how long it is till you see him play again and it's bittersweet is what I'm looking for I'll be absolutely delighted if he signs for a club overseas somewhere that would be brilliant and I'll be really sad because he won't be living with us he won't be there vlogging every day and brightening up the house and sparking things up but anyway that's life as a parent I guess you want your kids to grow up and be successful you want them to follow their dreams you want them to find the joy of doing what they want to do and he's certainly doing what he wants to do following his dream I'm proud of him for that anyway one more game here we are out at Bankstown not the most exciting place in the world not the most exciting game but it'll be just great to sit back and watch him play hope you enjoy it too see you later Yo, welcome to the voice over commentary. It's a bit weird this one. Uh, it's one of those games that don't matter. I'm going to kind of look at my personal performance, really take away the positives from this. I'll talk about that a li little bit later on because there's not much point taking away the negatives from this game. I mean, there's a few mistakes I made. There's a few things I want to improve on. And there's a few things I definitely should have been better at. But seeing as there's an opportunity around the corner... I want to take the positives away. So we look at this cross, bang, far post, hit the man on the head. Well, it actually hits him on the shoulder, but great opportunity. And I wasn't a whole lot involved in the first half. It's just the way our team plays, it just doesn't really involve our wingers. Me and our, our other winger, we always discuss it, but it's just how it goes. We always like to kind of play into the striker, which is uh, annoying for us, but uh, we kind of, you know, we don't have much of a say in that really. So starting off, 16th minute, we get off to a decent start and we pick up the first goal. This was, I'd say this was a counter attack. We were pretty much under the pump. These guys were a good side and great finish, great ball over the top. So like I said, with the opportunity coming up very soon, it is so important for me to take away these benefits. And we take it over to the steps replay booth. Bang. Oh, what a finish that is. Got to give credit to Victor there. And I want to quickly say with steps, make sure you guys get your grip socks now because the price is going up. That's a little header from me. Wow, you don't see that often. The price of the grip socks is going up to $29.95 seeing as I'm moving overseas. There's a few extra costs and whatnot. Uh, I just thought I'd throw you that in for you guys there. So if you want to get them now while they're at a lower price, then please go ahead and do it so that you don't come to me and complain when they go up in price. But they pick up a goal back and they just had a free man in the box from a corner. He had it as, uh, into the ground. It goes over the keeper. one all. Here, I this was actually a very good ball, but 21st minute, and I haven't had a lot of involvement at all. Like, I think second half, my positioning was better. Here, the guy went, goes to play it, but I pretty much just lie on the ground to block the pass. But... I, like, I feel like maybe I was a little bit too much inside as a winger. But then again, like, I don't know, man. I play this one to our striker. Their center back just pe picks it off just. And I look to make that run. I take that away from Jonah where you play a pass and then look. And so that's two passes in a row where I've missed them. And I want to touch on this one. So we'll see this a little bit later on. I should have taken my touch forward to then block that guy out circled in red. And if he foul if he tries to block my path, then he commits a foul. Otherwise, I can just keep going and then draw that number 30 in and then play to my number 9. So that's what I would have done. But I've missed two passes in a row. So next one, I receive the ball here just in a second. Yep, receive it. I just take a touch backwards and keep the ball. I want to go back onto a positive foot and just forget about those mistakes. You know, mis mistakes happen. It's, it's the game. And then I do it again. We do another great simple pass, but effective pass to get us going forward. I continue my run. It gets blocked out, and I thought I could intercept that. I was going so fast I couldn't slow down. Uh, we go down the right-hand side. This was a great bit of movement for me. I moved in and then out, and oh, I should have finished this, man. Watching this killed me. Because, like, you watch it in fast motion, you go, great. That was, like, decent opportunity. Uh, I hit it low, bottom corner, keeper saved it. But here, I should take it inside and just finish on that right foot. Maybe chuck a left foot scissor, right foot shot into that far post and would be looking at something else. So again, I'm not slamming myself going, wow, I'm so pissed that I should have got that goal. I'm so angry with myself. I go, okay, cool, yeah. Like, maybe I should have scored. I believe I should have for my standards. Uh, but I'm not dwelling on it. I'm not there going... 
Far out, Sheldon, you suck. I'm going, well, yeah, I made a mistake. I'm learning from it. And we'll make sure that next time it's better. Simple. It's as simple as that. Especially in these games where, like, for me, these games right now are just about learning and just getting better when, you know, we're already relegated. Of course, I want to get the result, but I want to improve each week, which means you got to make mistakes. So first half, finish one all. And this was where we had a little bit of halftime talk. And I feel like it ev helped everybody. So I'm a little bit wider and come in a bit more. And instantly, within the second minute, I pick up the ball and we I've created an opportunity. Well, help my team create an opportunity with a penetrating pass into the middle. So much better. You know, again, it's just learning. So here, this is great from Soshi. Exactly what I said before. And you can see I made a bursting run there. It's a shame that that guy took him out. But this is what I was talking about back in the beginning so i'm learning from these other players as well not just slamming myself every time so we look at this situation that's exactly what i said we look at soshi he takes that touch across the defender and he's forced to foul him so just picking up on those little things victor picks up the ball here nice little bit of skill getting across the box i'm hanging out wide i'm screaming for it and then he plays it i just slot it into that far corner and the keeper kind of like knew i wanted that far corner but I, I just was so confident. All in a split second, I went, you know what? I'll challenge you. If you're going to kind of camp in that far corner thinking I'm going there, I reckon I can get it past you. And it's just a great finish. Take it over to the steps replay booth. Man, it's just, oh, I love this sort of goal. Bang, first time finish, slots it away. Side netting, doesn't get better than that. So that makes it 2-1 from their kickoff. Uh, we kind of just want to keep it. They go forward, but we I'm pretty sure Soshi puts a great tackle in here. Yeah, so I'm going trying to track back, and then I look for a pass forward. Maybe we can hit them on the counterattack, but we decide, you know what? We just scored. Let's keep the ball. Here, I'm... Oh, this opportunity. You can see I'm kind of in a striker position now. I want to hold this guy up because even if you're in the box as a smaller player, I believe you can hold the ball up pretty well, and I get this opportunity. Oh, my God, man. It was literally an inch from the post. You can see how frustrated I was. I couldn't believe I missed it. Um, ah, just so close, man. Unbelievably close. Frustration. Here, I'm a little bit... So I'm playing as a right winger now. I swapped over a little bit. So I do a spin here because it was there. I go forward and this guy pushes me in the back. It was kind of like I had nothing else. I couldn't cross it. I couldn't do anything else. Uh, he pushed me in the back. I felt a bit of contact. I wasn't going anywhere. Uh, nothing ended up coming of it. But here, I go forward, and oh, man. All right, so this was bad. 61st minute. Papa Tweedy zooms in. He thinks I've done my ACL or something. What basically happened is I went sprinting. I've, there's no point in even putting it in slow-mo because you can't see it. What happens is I run, and his knee almost just strikes the outside of my calf. So, like, kind of just it i'm looking at it now and it's just to the left so it's my left shin bone to the left of that where a muscle is and he's just corked it and it was so sore man so i was in a heap of pain just dying i thought i might have had to come off like i thought i could push through it and i decided to and look I get this opportunity six minutes later. I'm still not fully recovered. I was kind of saying to the coach, look, I'm 60%, 70%. I go forward and this touch just killed me. I should be finishing that as well. So again, two frustrate, three frustrating chances where I really 100% should have finished. Am I going to sit here and go, Sheldon, what the hell? I should have finished those. No, look at this touch. We analyzed the touch way too far forward. Yes, I was feeling a little bit sore. But that's still, I should still be able to finish this. And then from here, across the keeper is where I should be going. But I think I was put off by that touch in my head going, oh, I got to, you know, I got to do something else now that because my touch was so bad, I had to go forward and great bicycle kick. You can't take anything away from that. So, yeah, it's frustrating. Like, I mean, I always am my, what is it? I'm my best critic or I'm always my first critic. I, I always criticize myself. And I always like to pinpoint the things I can be better at. And I know what I can be better at. Great bicycle kick on the steps replay. So those three chances, I should have finished those. Uh, that's just 100%. You can see here, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm, I'm trying to, like, I've been looking over to the coach saying, like, I need to come off. But he, he wanted me on at 80%. He wanted me to give me a couple more minutes on. But that was the end of my night. I sub myself off. 75th minute, I knew somebody else could do a better job than me especially in the state that I was in. So, yeah, we go again. It's a lot of learning curves. Good to pick up a goal, but that's how the game ended to all. 
Again, positives, positives, positives. With big opportunities around the corners, with the, around the corner, I don't want to have negative thoughts in my head. Yes, I want to have these improvement thoughts in my head, but I want to put all of those positive thoughts in and build on that. That's the most important thing. Man, I'm sore, struggling to walk, but this is what we do every time I score a goal, no matter what happens. We come in here, as soon as we get home, dad picks up the video, we go through it and find the goal. Oh, that's me on the ground, that's me sore. And then we watch the goal. Goodness me. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, I'm so tired. This is healing a little bit. It's getting better. I iced it before. I think I'll be all right in a couple of days. It's just one of those impact injuries. Anyway, could that be the last game for Parramatta? Oh, we don't know. Nothing's confirmed yet. Flights aren't booked. But seeing as big opportunities are coming, what I take away from that game, yes, we didn't get the result. The result didn't really matter. On a personal note, I take away the positives more than the negatives in that game. Yes, I should have scored, in my opinion, for me, I should have scored two, two goals. But I go, okay, I quickly learn from them and I put them to the side because I got bigger things on the way. I got things which I need to focus on and I don't want to have to dwell on these things. So they're already all the way back here and I put the goal up here and go, that was a great goal, Sheldon, let's build on that. So that's kind of where my head is at. So. Tomorrow's video, absolute banger. I picked up these boots from Ultra Football the other day. Th big thanks to Ultra Football and Adidas for hooking me up. But there's going to be a boot review on these, so look forward to that. I think they're so sick, man. I haven't worn them, but I've been wearing the Nemesis for a long time now, so I can give you guys a pretty in depth review. But whew. tomorrow's video, team tweet, I'm signing out. Make sure you like it, share, subscribe, and Listen.